How's it going? It's been since Friday since I last saw you guys. So today, I decided I was gonna enlighten you guys on the topic of business. So as you may know, Ryan, Trahan, and I have started a company a while back called Neptune Project, but we do business as Neptune Bottle. We have been working on this business for about a year now, since Ryan and I have been working our butts off on Neptune lately, that I will talk to you guys on how to start a successful business as a teenager. I'm gonna make it easy on you guys. I'm not gonna do crazy in depth, like 30 minute video where you fall asleep at your keyboard. <laughs> because I rant and rant about business, business, business. If you guys would like a more in-depth video, comment, but this video will probably just be five tips or so. I'm gonna keep it short so I don't lose your guys' attention. I know you guys have other things to do today. Please give me a like on this video and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Show me some support, please. I love you guys. Thank you. So yeah, let's get on with the video. This is for you guys. How to create a successful business as a teenager. How to create a successful business as a teenager. I may be looking down at my computer. Uh, I wrote some stuff down in Google Docs just so I'm not kind of on the whim and say something stupid. I had to plan this out. Wow, Kane, you must take this pretty seriously. Yeah, guys, I do. I, I sat down for about 30 minutes to an hour figuring out what I was gonna say to you guys. I'm just trying to help you guys out here. Sorry, I'm messing with my eye. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just keep watching, don't leave, please. First thing I'm going to tell you is, number one, be persistent. So if you keep at your craft, you're undoubtedly going to get better. If you are sporadically just like, I think I'm gonna do this. You know what, now I'm not feeling it, so I'm just gonna kinda just let it sit there. Oh, and then I'm gonna come back, and then maybe I'll put something out. I'll work on it for this amount of time, and then, oh, okay, now I'm gonna take a break. Oh, but then now I'm working on it. It doesn't, guys, it doesn't work that way. You have to constantly nurture your idea slash project slash business. If you keep throwing darts at the dartboard, you're eventually gonna hit the center. If you keep up your work, if you keep at it day in, day out, you're not gonna be successful your first day, your first week. Like, you may not even be successful your first year. To tell you the truth, Ryan and I, honestly, we're, we're, we have solid business. We're not booming, but we're not dead. As you can tell, we came out with new bottles, but we're steadily coming up with new ideas on how to make Neptune better. We constantly talk to each other on how to make Neptune better and how we can please you guys the most. And this is a daily thing. This isn't like, all right, let's uh, do this over here for about two weeks. And then, oh wait, we have that Neptune thing going on. Uh, we should probably get back to that. No, it's like a daily thing. Don't fool yourself because running a business is, is wild. It's honestly, it takes up a lot of your time. Um, it's not just like a, you throw 15 minutes at it and you're good. You have to, you have to nurture this baby that you've started to create. Uh, wait, that sounds weird. Uh, you have to take the time out and put in the work that you need to do to be successful. So being persistent is is key, is like number one, it's major key alert. This is a major key alert. All right major key alert. This is a major key alert. Be persistent, all right guys? How are you gonna get better if you lounge around? You have to keep working at it, but don't discredit yourself. If you put your mind to it, I know this sounds so corny and this is so overused, but if you put your mind to it and you keep working on it and working on it, working on it, you're going to hit some achievement that you wanted to hit. It may not be total success because some people, sadly, to be realistic, some people just never hit success. You can be persistent, but you can be persistent on the wrong road. You may be on the right train, but you're on the the wrong track on the right track but you're on the wrong train I don't know, but you have to have the combination. I know I'm kind of going back on what I said, like being persistent and you'll succeed, but it's sort of like a mixture of things. Be persistent, please God, be persistent, because otherwise your thing is just gonna die off. But at the same time, you have to understand what people want. I said I wasn't going to go in depth and that was like a five minute rant, whatever. Number two, surround yourself with like-minded people. Doing a business alone is a super daunting task. If I didn't do Neptune with Ryan, I don't know if I could do Neptune without Ryan. I'm just a teenager, I don't know anything about the world and he's just a teenager too. But even if you're an adult, it's great to have a business partner, to have someone there constantly spurring you on, supporting you, knowing that you have another back to rest on is, is really comforting. And I feel like you're almost lost in like a void if you're just like working on a business by yourself. Don't get me wrong, you can start a business by yourself and you can succeed like that. 
like Gymshark guy. He is making a killing right now and he's like 20 something and I think he did it by himself. So don't get me wrong, you can start a business by yourself and be totally successful. Go for it if you want to. Advice, if you don't wanna go, well no, I wanna say if you don't go crazy. If you wanna have comfort, do it with someone else. It helps so much. And it's, when you have when you have a group of people or at least another person with the right, like with the same mindset that you do, it's, it's, it's super helpful. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people, super important. All of these are super important. You need someone to pick you up when you fall down. Talking about falling down, we're gonna we're gonna go into the next one. Number three. Pick three. Pick number three, my lord. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, number three. Accept failure as a learning experience. Failure is bound to happen. It's business is not always going to be booming every day. Business may not be booming ever. Business may not even be happening, and you may think your business is a failure, or what your marketing strategy is a failure, or the product you're doing is a failure. It's just all, it's gonna be hard. It's not easy, and you're not gonna succeed a majority of the time, to be realistic. Unless you're just extremely lucky, and the universe is just handing you things left and right, then it's going to be hard. It's honestly good to fail. It teaches you what you need to fix, and when you fix it, it'll be better. Rome wasn't built in a day. Almost all of you are gonna know it's gonna be hard work. Don't let failure discourage you. It's good if you fail, actually, and it's it's a healthy scenario in, in creating a business and a successful one at that. The next one is being creative and being scrappy. Don't follow the rules because if you follow the rules and become all the rest, you become a cookie cutter. No one will be able to distinguish why you're greater than the other business in your market or whatever you're chasing. Huge ass moth in my room. Okay, whatever. It's not, I don't, hopefully it won't come over here. You gotta start yourself apart, guys. You have to be different. If they if they already like this thing, why would they change over to this? If this product or service is already doing it pretty well and you're offering the same thing when they already know this brand is good and they don't know what this brand is. You gotta be different. You gotta offer something that they that these people can't offer. Yeah, how, how would they distinguish you? And in the scrappy sense, do some unconventional things. Like a mistake that you, a mistake or even something that you didn't intend to happen could be the successful path that you didn't intend. And you're not gonna reach that path by just going down the same path that everyone else went down. You have to make your own path. Um, and that's also another fucking corny joke, but it's serious, like you have to do your own thing. Otherwise, you're not gonna be different, you're not gonna succeed. So yeah, that's, yeah. And then last but not least, have an open mind. You're gonna get a lot of criticism if you start a business or a service. You can't just shut that criticism out and say that what you're doing is right. Don't get me wrong, their opinion slash perspective slash input could be wrong and is not what you're intending to achieve. Other times it's good to listen to what people have to say because they're the customer, they're the client, they're the person receiving the other end of what you're giving. So it's good to listen to what they have to say to you so you can better your yourself, your business, your service, your product, anything. You may ignore some really valuable advice that can make your product better later on down the road when everyone is wanting that perspective that that someone said and you didn't implement that aspect in your product and your service, then you're kind of screwed. You're not gonna appeal to the market. All I'm saying is have open ears. Don't immediately discredit what other people say. Just listen and think about it and think about it and then think about it some more and say, hey, you know what? That's pretty good information. You know what I mean? Have open ears, listen. All right, because you're not gonna get that perspective from anyone else. Everyone is different, all right? Those are my five pieces of advice. Uh, I didn't give you guys this, guys this story about Neptune. I'm giving you guys advice on what you wanna create. If you wanna hear about how Ryan and I created Neptune and the whole depthy story of creating it, then let me know and I'll make a video for you guys. But this video isn't about me, it's about you guys and I wanna help you guys out and I want you guys to follow what you want to follow and create. Yo, that moth is huge. I'll give you guys some resources that Ryan and I used when we started Neptune. Um, this may not apply to what you want to create because we're in a different market than you guys. Maybe we're, we sell a different product than you. So I'll go through I'll go through the services and resources that we use to create our brand in our company. So, and this is also, by the way, I have no, this is, there's no, I have 140 something subscribers. This is definitely no endorsement. Um, this is just, it's just here. LegalZoom. Before you do anything, to sell what you want to sell or to create what you want to create, you have to have a business. You have to have a company name. You have to register that company name, what you're going to do with that company, and so forth. LegalZoom is honestly so easy to use. It took me 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes to create a business. 
Don't get me wrong, it can be a pricey route to take. It's very convenient. You have to wait a little while. It takes 20 or 30 minutes to register. You have to wait a little while for your respective state to receive the files, the documents that LegalZoom sends them so you can register as your company. Once that is accepted, then you're a legally formed company. Um, another resource I will give you guys is 99designs. It's kind of a random thing to throw out here, but our awesome logos on our bottles were created through 99designs. And what 99designs does is a contest. Um, and what this contest is, is different graphic design artists creating your brand. This is also kind of expensive, but creating a business isn't gonna be cheap. You're gonna have to put some money into it. Out of breath. I've just been Blech. Blech. Last but not least, Alibaba. You may or may not know about Alibaba. Alibaba is where we got our product. Alibaba has so many different things. And what Alibaba does is it's a website where you contact different manufacturers for any kind of product you want. I mean, I don't know, you can create whatever, you can have freaking a thousand dildos made from Alibaba. I don't know. What we had made was stainless steel water bottle. Follow your desires. There's also different websites out there for manufacturing products. If you would wish to go down that route, route, whatever you want to say, that's what I have to offer you guys. Be persistent, surround yourself with like-minded people, be creative and be scrappy, accept failure as a learning experience, and have an open mind. Guys, these five things will indubitably help you. Hopefully this helped you guys. I don't, I feel like I just rambled. Hopefully I hit some good points. There's a Game of Thrones quote that I wanted to put into the surround yourself with like-minded people. The lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. I'm, I'm ready for Game of Thrones. It's gonna be dope. Yeah, I love Jon Snow, by the way. Jon Snow's cool. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch me. So, thank you. Cool. Bye, guys.